Imagine a world where water is scarce, where you can't find it anywhere. You're sad. This is because we mismanaged our water resources. Where do you find water? Not in the tap. Not anywhere. You'll have to find another way. But how? The only place you can find water is in the toilet. So do you drink it? How do you drink it? Is it clean? How do we make it clean? With gray water systems, we can prevent the overuse of our water resources. The science guy. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Science rules. Inertia is a property of matter. Bill, 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 as you can imagine, a large percentage of your household water usage produces grey water. Even though most grey water has significant potential for reuse, it is usually sent to the sewers along with black water. Grey water systems are designed to collect grey water from these sources and recycle them, usually for irrigation or toilet flushing. Raw grey water typically has much higher concentrations of E. coli and thermotolerant coliforms and may harbor harmful protozoa and viruses. These microorganisms have the potential to contaminate a washroom via aerosol production during toilet flushing or direct ingestion, if you're into that sort of thing. Therefore, the grey water needs to be disinfected before reuse. Health Canada recommends chlorination in all grey water toilet systems. Chlorine disinfectants are available in solid, liquid, and gaseous form. Here's an experiment you can do at home. Of the various kinds of chlorine disinfectants available, chlorine gas is by far the most effective. You can generate some by yourself at home using some concentrated hydrochloric acid and some household bleach. Yeah, all right. It's important to understand that the earth and everything on it use the same water over and over again. Now, if you please, consider the following. Because of the ease of storage and cheapness, Calcium hypochlorite is generally used in grey water systems. These tablets will dissolve in water, giving rise to the important equilibrium between the hypochlorite ion and hypochlorous acid. This hypochlorous acid is a strong oxidizing agent and is the primary species that inactivate bacteria. Chlorination is associated with several environmental concerns concerning the free chlorine residual and disinfectation byproducts. Recycled grey water used for toilet flushing will be treated as a, at a wastewater treatment plant before being returned to the environment. But if used for irrigation, Environment Canada recommends that a dechlorination procedure be put into place. Sodium bisulfate or granular activated carbon filters are common choices. So if the earth were as big as a baseball, Play ball! how much water do you think there'd be for us to drink? How much? How much do you think there'd be? Well, it's not that much only be about this much. Now that's not very much. Now remember, every living thing, all living things on the planet need water to live, to survive. And this includes you, pal. That's why this whole thing is so important. The world's water resources are just not in as good a shape as they used to be. I mean... A general gray water system is composed of the following. The incoming gray water has to be passed through a filter since organic matter in the water can shield microbes from the disinfectant. Next, the water enters the disinfectant tank where the chlorine is added. To ensure the dose was sufficient, since the chlorine will react first with dissolved organic and inorganic material, contact time is monitored and a residual of at least 0.5 milligrams per liter must be kept. The water can then be stored for a short period of time before being converted and sent to the toilet of science. Of science! Of science! Well, that's our show, and thanks for watching. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to install a gray water system.
Okay, well, this is all very interesting, and I'll grant you that, Mr. Science Guy, but I don't understand what is the big deal with the science of water. I, what's... What do you mean, what's the big deal? I mean, water is what, what we're made of. I mean, water is, is what makes the, the water cycle go around. I mean, it's all the living things on Earth okay, well, depend on water. I'm still, I still that don't get it. You and and me, unfortunately, we're out of time. No, Our guest has been Bill Nye, the science so guy. So I'm Jackie Smith. Thank you for joining us, everybody. You, 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 you,